guys welcome back to the rockabilly customs channel and i'm just going to say this it is so stupid hot right now but i know that the last time y'all saw the maverick was when i did the burnout because i wasn't able to make it to the car show because the front brakes wasn't working but yeah those are still not working because i still have not been able to order the uh, proportioning valve for it so but let's turn it around and show you so my maverick is on all four now i know the front brakes don't work but i got rear brakes in the back so i'm going to drive the car now i've already drove it once and my front brakes do kind of work a little bit it's just they're literally half ass the Eurostat or the not Eurostat the proportioning valve in it uh, the little tool that you put in when you first initially bleed them and all uh, I guess a buddy of mine I'm not gonna say who because I don't know exactly who because I had like four people help me at different times might have hit the brakes whenever I was not around because I had a, they were all sitting in the car at one at a time to help me at various different times so I don't think I can guess because the Eurostat why well, keep on saying Eurostat that goes in the gas tank the proportioning valve is locked and it's stuck open that's why I'm front only drip but I have brakes in the back so at least I can stop the car just can't get stupid crazy in it so um, my seats are in it my vest been in for a while but yeah my horn yeah i don't have a horn on this car but yeah my seats are from pro car uh and they are extremely comfortable i love them i'm probably gonna keep these seats in here for good so um rearing is in even though i think i'm hearing something in the back i'm not 100 percent sure so now going back to the rear end Y'all saw me cut and chop it. I will link that video in the end or whatever. Can I do this? Put it right up here? I don't know. I'm going to look to see if I can. But yeah, if so, it's going to be right there. If not, I'll put it at the end of the video. Y'all can watch it. But I chopped and narrowed the rear end and put new axles in it. That's all I did. And also did the disc brake conversion for the back. So... Besides that, I weld on the purchase, went with it. I did not change the bearings, and I'm thinking I'm hearing the bearings in it. From which, when I went back and asked the gentleman that I got the rear end from, he said the truck was setting for about 20 years. And he said he stopped it because the transmission went out in it, and they put it back there, and that was it. So, I don't know. Those bearings could have been setting there for 20 years, not turning, and all of a sudden come alive. They could be a little bad. So, if that's so, I'm going to go and rebuild the whole rear end. New pinion bearing, new axle bearings, all the whole shooting match. And I'm thinking to make it limited slip, but I'm thinking about doing the mini spool in it. They're about the same price. Tell me in the de description below, which one would you choose for a good muscle car? Mini spool where your tires are posy no matter what. I do know when I'm driving around, it, they're going to chirp um and maybe hop a little bit no no tell me would y'all sacrifice that to have both tires spinning or would y'all go back with the limb slip or is there much of a difference on on it so but let me first get a way to mount the gopro in the car and we'll go drive it okay guys excuse this piece this is what i'm actually going to use to mount it to this um uh, windshield but here's my uh, interior. Even though my gauges are not straight, I got my volts, my oil, my water, my fuel gauge, and that says E. I still I have quite a bit in there. The new radio, and that doesn't work right now. It's not fully wired in. And my new uh, my new uh, RPM gauge, and it's connected to this switch that connects. Uh, spark to it so everything's on talk switch on our fuel and spark so let me get this connected up to here 
All right. There we go. Sorry, I pulled the tape off and the GoPro just fell. But, okay, well, for driving it, it's not too bad. Okay. And it's like a rocket right now, comparing to what it used to be. Now, if y'all heard any clunking, it's because my tailpipes are not up there fully. So it's going to be dragging all the way from the header all the way back on that hump over there. That's the driveway part coming in. But yeah, I think my rear end is howling. I've talked to a couple buddies already and um, they said if it's just now starting to do that, you probably don't have nothing to worry about because, but then again, if it's been doing it for a while, you might have some scoring on your axles. I don't know. So, not going to drive the car very much until I get that replaced. And when that does, y'all see it here on YouTube. But as far as everything else, I got to get the front brakes working. So, change that portioning valve out. 
that's right up underneath the master cylinder and that's it for now and if y'all see this duct tape right here it's because that's where my mirror went and there's just holes there and it's been raining pretty good so i just didn't want rain getting into there so guys y'all think i should strike this car up and walk around it yeah i'm going to maybe i can hear something that i don't hear inside the car there you go so my first set of videos that was strictly on one car was getting this maverick back on the road and that is went through the struggle of spending one day two days on pairing out a 67 mustang leaf springs just to find that they do not fit so i ended up just putting new bushings in mine and putting leaf spring shackles on the back new ones so and then got a rear end, chopped it, narrowed it, ordered axles, uh, went and bought brakes off of a Mustang that was part, a guy was parting out. So put the brakes on there. We put the brakes on the front from that same Mustang. Um, ran all new lines through the car for the brake lines. Got a new master cylinder and a new, um, proportioning valve and that is what i got to replace is that proportioning valve and yes it is out of um out of warranty and that sucks uh, it's amazon right there for you so typically amazon's amazon is good it's just this one time it just bit my bit me in the ass it's way too long to get car running just because of life getting in the way constantly but um and then we put new Lower control arm, new outer tie rod ends, new inner tie rod ends, and new ball joint up on top because you can unbolt it and bolt it in. And then, wheels were $80. Somebody here in town had them. They're not perfect by no means, but they look a hell of a lot better than um, the Mustang wheels that were on it. But those old Craggers that I had, they would have looked great on this car give more like a dirt track feel but at the same time no they just wouldn't work they were working just fine back there but up front they were hitting the inside frame roll every time i turned that way or this way so those had to go even with the two inch spacer they had to go so these they rub just very little but with the two inch spacer on front no rubbing at all just fine uh, and I do have a spacer on the back. Now, why I got a spacer on the back is because the brakes. In, you have the little pilot or whatever it's called right here. The spacer is inside there. And that is just making this all flush. Like, this wasn't even here. Allowing this part right here where it actually interferes with the brakes making that fit in there perfect and that actually brought it out to where i have enough room for it to freely spin and also to grab whenever i hit those brakes so that worked just fine um and i did upgrade the bushings in the back for the shocks even though the shocks are still the same now going back to the front on these brakes as y'all know i'm using uh i went with a 76 maverick spindle from rock auto 2000 model mustang the bracket that holds this piece on is two 16 gauge sheet metals welded together now if those fail i'm just going to take that same template and go down to a welding shop or a machine shop and have them make me a bracket 
and I hit the button for that thing. Batteries going out, folks. When I accidentally hit the button, they work. <laughs> but going back to this. So, put that on there. And there's the two-inch spacer bringing this wheel out because I did not order the wheel. It's just what was available. So, if I ordered the wheel, I would have no spacer on that at all. Um, but it doesn't come out past the fender lip and it looks great in there and these are 18s okay i've heard people saying you cannot put an 18 on a maverick well i just did and it's not interfering with nothing there's no wear marks on there and i was cutting this thing uh, tight making this tire come in tight so works just fine and i love the stance of the car the stance of the car looks nice so not raked it on the back and it's just nice and level now could i drop it i'd love to drop this thing just a little lower but yeah it's, i think it's doing great for what i can do right now so hope front end's all new and if y'all asking i did say in the video the maverick spin uh brake lines bolted into the caliper they seem like they did and they seem like they tightened down but it was i went in and put an adapter in it to make it work even better i guess you can say so there is an adapter going from the maverick brake lines to the mustang brake lines but guys when this car comes back this car will be completely torn down sandblasted and all done it's just i needed a car to drive right now because that s10 is no motor no transmission no wiring at all in that truck that 240 is what I'm doing right now. This Durango is not mine. It's actually my wife's. And I don't want it to be a reason why she can't do something like take the kids to the doctor's office on her own because I'm using the vehicle. So, yeah. So now I've got my car. I can drive it and go back and just have fun in it. So, but yeah, once this car comes back, we'll tear down into this car completely. And some of the parts that are on here will stay the same, like those seats. But then other parts will just be thrown away. So, okay guys, that's going to be it for this episode. And it wasn't a tinkering around episode. It was just, hey, y'all didn't get to see the Maverick actually drive. So, I wanted to show you that it drove. So, the Maverick, like I said, will come back. But if y'all like this video and y'all like these old cars, and you like that import that I've been building, then hit subscribe and hit the notification. So when I upload a video, y'all be the first to know. And for the 205 subscribers that I got, I personally want to say thank you. Thank y'all very much for me even hitting this goal. I when I first started YouTube, I was thinking, I won't ever hit that. It's just, I want to make videos, so therefore, I have something that my kids could go back and see what their daddy was doing when they were born, or not even born yet. So, that's really kind of why I want to do it. But then in the back of my mind, I was like, yeah, I want to do YouTube. I want to be a big YouTube star to make it. I want to supply, I want to be the uh, supplier for my family for food bills a house whatever my kids want and the good thing about youtube is let's say my kids have something i need to do i don't have to ask a boss like hey can i take off my kids gotta go no i say like, okay cool i'm just gonna go and be there for my kids i want to be that father that is there for their kids i want to be the husband that's there for their wife so doing youtube can make that a reality so guys it's y'all that's going to help me get to there so again i want to say thank y'all for the ones that are subscribing and the ones that are just watching hit subscribe please <laughs> so all right guys i'm gonna get out of here hey make sure you hit that thumbs up and tell me y'all like this video that tells me that y'all like these old cars and that tells me hey keep on going keep on doing this Hey, and if y'all like these American muscle cars, 
but America down in the comments <laughs> do something to say y'all's appreciation for these old cars so all right guys I'm gonna get out of here y'all take it easy and peace I'm gonna walk around the car and let y'all see it while I'm getting out of here